in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can set the default font for adding and editing text in Adobe Acrobat Pro. So normally when you add text in a PDF, Acrobat chooses itself. Uh, it chooses which font to use. It normally chooses a nearby font attribute for use your new text. And when you add a text, if there is a font that isn't available on the system, then Acrobat chooses which font to substitute for this unavailable font. And by default, it's a fallback font for the particular script. For example, if a font isn't available, then by default, Minion Pro is the fallback font for the Roman script. But this can create inconsistencies in your documents. So you have the option to set or choose yourself which font will be used to as a default fallback font for fonts that aren't available and also as a font for new text that is added. So first I'm going to add a new text to edit and then I'll add a text so you can see what I mean. So as you can see here, this is a test, it's a new text and here you can see that the text is Minion Pro. Now, what I can do is go to this hamburger icon, menu, or alternatively, press the control command K keys. And then here I'm going to go to preferences. And in preferences, I'm going to go to content editing. As you can see here, in content editing, you have font options. And in font options, you can choose a fallback font for editing. So in case a font isn't available, a font used in your document isn't available on your system. And you can also choose the default font when you add text. So by default, they're set to let Acrobat choose. Here you can choose a font yourself. So in case a font style isn't available, you can say Acrobat which font style to use. And if you add new, check, new text, you can choose here, let Acrobat choose. And I'm going to choose a new font. Instead of that, I'm going to go with Atlanta. And then you can also choose your font size. And let's set that to 18. And then you press OK. Now I'm going to add a new text. And you can immediately see that this, this is the Atlanta in size 18, as we told Acrobat that we want to have for every new text we add. We wanted to have Atlanta in size 18, no longer the Minion Pro. So Acrobat doesn't choose itself anymore. When I add new text, it will be in this font as I said it should be. And you can do the same for fonts that aren't available on your system. You can tell Acrobat which font to use in case there is an unavailable font so you get consistent consistency in your entire document. So as easy as that, you can go to Menu or press Control command k then go to Preferences. And in Preferences, you can go to your Content Editing and there you can choose whatever you want Adobe to use for you. Or you can just let Adobe choose itself. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I have new tutorials going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.